Okay, we're back with part two. Back. Um, we were in the midst of starting to realize that we needed to talk about Malva a little bit. Um, and so let's... Uh, I'm sorry. You know, again, when when the whole Ian, like, you know, might have, you know, knocked up Malva do, do, deal. Do. Um, when that's what? Did the kids come back in next week? No. <laughs> sorry. Next time we're doing this at my house because I'm childless. Um, okay, anyway. When when I just wanted to smack Ian, I want to be like, grow up. You know, oh, what, she, is, what she does Cher say? Snap out of it. She was a charmer. I um, mean, you know, Ian. And there's Ian, no TV. I'm 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 torn between Ian. You know, completely like like just feeling for him so and wanting to smack him and be like, get over it, Ian. I found it amusing because everybody in town did melt. <laughs> All I could think of was like better off dead when the science teacher is like, um, would you mind if I took Beth out? Like every who hasn't done Melva. Jamie's like kind of a loser. What's wrong with you? All right. The Melva thing, I just still do not get. I get Why? I get that or here's the thing. Malva dies and suddenly becomes Saint Malva. And well, I did yeah, not why, get why that. Why does Claire deify Malva? Yeah, yeah. I mean I mean and I and again I get that Claire thought of her as, you know, a daughter. As a young prodigy, as, as, as a daughter. As a, as, right, a, right, right. as a daughter from another mother, whatever. But like like the hurt that she, I mean, nobody in this whole sordid scenario should have been more hurt than Claire by what she did. And I don't care if she was like coerced into doing it. Or whatever. I mean, she she might as well just have taken a stake and drove it through Claire's heart because well, yeah, and you know she was hurting her the same exact way. And, all, and then she dies, and you know there's Claire. And granted, like it's not like Claire should you know be hating her and like let her die and whatever. But Claire's all like, oh my Malva, oh, my Malva, like, my Malva, my Malva. I know. Really and like, oh, and the best is when you're like, how do you not? How do you not? How are you not able to do it with Jamie Frazier? Oh <laughs> because of Malva. Oh. <laughs> what was um, your exact wording like? Um, because it was awesome. What was awesome? Whatever you said, like the day. You mean that day, night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the, the day that like here's Jamie Frazier, <laughs> like yeah, I don't know, horned up. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But no, that just, I, 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 I mean, <laughs> or what was it? Just keep going. Keep <laughs> okay. Going. No, I just, I, I mean, I didn't get that. It just became this like poor Melva. She was, and yes, she was abused. Yes. I know. I know. I know. I know. But I'm sorry. No, there's right and there's wrong. And agreeing to like, you know, claim that Jamie Frazier, husband of, you know, someone who thinks of you as a daughter Agreeing to say that he's the father of your unborn child? N no. What? Well, was Alan threatening to kill you? No. Was Alan threatening to, you know, expose your relationship? No, because he's the father! Okay. Go. You you suck, I just want to say that I agree with you in the fact that I, could, I didn't like the way it was, you know, once everything was out in the open, it was, Melva didn't want to do it. And, you know, she really was a victim in all of this. No. Yeah. Melva sat herself in Jamie's study and accused the man of fathering her child. Right, right. Got up in his face, got it in everybody's face. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, Shannon, you don't have to be quiet. You speak out, girlfriend. <laughs> Shannon just goes like this. He, she cut Claire's Hair. Oh my god! She, she cut, cut Claire's hair. hair! Okay, do we not normally I'm curly. Do we not look like women who get hair? Okay? She We've cut been her struggling hair. with our you hair our whole lives. Mrs. She cut Mrs. Her Bug hair. is one thing. Mrs. Bug, I'm sure, was like, yeah, you need to cut it off because um, you know, uh the fever's gonna go away, whatever. Who listens to Mrs. Bug unless no. she's got you know, a bad Malma in her knew hand. that wasn't true. You know she did. And she unless, did that because she was in love with Jamie Frazier. And unless uh Mrs. Bug has a good old piece of sausage in one hand and a bannock in the other, I don't care what she has to say. <laughs> no, no. Malva Mal uh, whatever. You know what? I can't even I can't even we've spent five minutes just about 
talking about Malva, and it's just going to piss Tracy, me off. Tracy just can't even. <laughs> we need to move we on. We need to move on. We need to move on from Malva. Okay. Um, I'm going to let Carol she, talk about her favorite part of the book. Oh. You know, I said, if we do this, I sound like a complete, like, shallow, <laughs> high-maintenance, materialistic biatch. Let's just talk about love it. Ferguson Lamont. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it, it just jumped out of nowhere when Fergus was trying to help Marsley deliver and <laughs> used his own technique, his fromage technique. <laughs> I'm sorry, Doctor, it Doctor was Fergus. awesome. It came out of nowhere. I didn't expect it. And for the first time, yeah, I, R Rogers is hot, don't get me wrong, but for the first time, you know, you're always just like, Jamie, 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 Jamie. Fergus! <laughs> Fergus so, and his OBGYN techniques. That's, that's, yes, that's my little, uh, that's my shallow little thought from the day. Okay, let's, we're going to have to do, like, another video. I can't believe this because we're already six minutes into <laughs> this. Okay. Um, but let's, let's spend the next four minutes making our predictions for Echo, and then we'll read into the next one. Okay. All right. Uh, again, I'm I'm not good at committing, so I'm not. I don't really know that I can commit to saying it's a prediction more than like a theory. But I obviously we're all thinking that they're going to possibly go back to Scotland. He talked about going back to Scotland to get the printing press, and we can't figure out why does he need to go to Scotland? Why can't he have it have shipped? FedEx, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, FedEx, UPS, whatever. Um, the post office might be cheaper though. Um, so obviously, I'm sort of thinking that they're going to be going back to Scotland. But my question is, if they go, A, what happens to Ian? B, what happens to Lizzie? Like, does Ian go with them or does Ian stay? I'm not going to be happy with that. I want Ian so far away from the Native Americans, it's not even funny. I want Ian, I want, uh, oh, I want so much with Ian. You know how I feel. I just, I, I don't ever want to hear the name Emily again, <laughs> ever. I, I just, going to. I want him far away. I'm sorry. That's, um, Lizzie, can they just up and leave and Freak. leave, leave, <laughs> Leave Lizzie with her 18 husbands? I mean, what are they going to do? And, 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 and what about Lizzie's malaria? Oh, that's what was hitting me this morning. I woke up like Marsha Brady on the day her nose was all better and there were birds singing in her room. And then five seconds later, I thought, oh, Claire has no penicillin. She has... No, she has no we stabber. No, she has no we stabber. How are you going to get across the ocean? She has no microscope to make more penicillin. She has no breed to make her a microscope. She has absolutely nothing. So she's going to take off. What's going to happen <clears throat> the next time Lizzie gets her malaria fever? Okay. Oh, wait. The Beardsleys will just jump into bed. Though. That's what's going <laughs> to happen. All right. Wait, wait, wait. All right. Well, I had one more. <laughs> Ian, Lizzie, and one more person that I was worried about. About what was going to happen. Think about it while I make I guess it was Fergus and Marsley. Okay. So, if they're going to go to Lon uh, London, if they're going to go to Scotland, what's going to happen to everybody on the ridge? Thank you. Your turn. Okay. A, it's totally set up. William's finding out about his real oh, daddy. Yeah, that's, yeah. I mean, that's got to be, that's a given. That's yes. a given right yep, there. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Um, I think William is going to figure, if is going to factor in much more in this book. I think Lord John is going to be quite the reappearance, which is making me happy because I love me some Lord we John. We love also Lord John. We like when Lord John gets his freak on. <laughs> which, this is why you have to read the second Lord John book. Okay, anyway, I think that Lord John is going to find out um, possibly where Claire and Brianna and Roger really come from. I've lately wondered, I and I haven't even said this to it. you. You can't handle the truth. I've said this to you. Yes. I haven't said this to you, I mean. I wonder about Lord John's ability to go through the stone. <laughs> See, this is a true reaction because I have never said that because I just thought of it. <laughs> uh, that's all I'm saying. Oh, what I imagine <laughs> Lord John in Times Square. <laughs> Where? Oh, Lord John! Lord John, I have to say. Time. All right, and we're like we have forty-five seconds here. He could Lord be. John, Lord John would love the military Project of today. Runway. <laughs> Lord John would love the military of today. It would make him very happy. <laughs> Again, read the second book. Um, all right, what other predictions, really quickly, because we have to move on to the next video. Um, um, I'm blanking like Cindy Brady. I am blanking like Cindy Brady too, and I well, I put them all on the blog, so you know, yeah. in some comment. Um, That's why I blog because. 
I can sit and take a lot of time um, to think oh, about what I'm doing. I, I don't know if Brie and Roger are coming back. I kind of think they are, but like, why set up the whole lollybrock thing if they're not going to, if they oh, are going to oh, come back? Oh, All right, oh. next video. Wait, All no, right, no, we no. have to turn this off because it's almost 10 minutes. We'll be right, we'll go to number three. I'm More sorry, there's so many. All right, bye.